All right, g'day guys. Tonight I thought I'd show you another tool that I use called uh, Magic Set Editor. This is an application that's designed to assist in the creation of uh, player handouts, uh, specifically cards. Uh, it's, it's designed for the Magic the Gathering guys, but it's uh, it's certainly usable for D&D and uh, things like Pathfinder. Um, if you have any need of creating uh, player handouts in the form of cards, this is a really cool application to use. So let's jump over and have a look. Right here you can see Magic the Set Editor at the welcome screen. You can see I've got a few options here uh, to open the last set, but uh, we'll go new set just to show you what it looks like. And you can see here you've got some different templates that you can use. Uh, you can see obviously these are designed for specific games. Uh, in my case here I've actually got some 5th edition templates. Now these 5th edition templates do not come with the application. I did have to buy these. Um, and where I've bought these from is over on DriveThruRPG. Uh, it's a product called Tinth Gel's 5th edition D&D card templates. Alright, and these are obviously designed for use in uh, Magic the Gathering, uh, Magic Set Editor, sorry. Um, and he does a, a monster set as well. So you can see here there's a monster set. And if you have a look at the uh, example cards, you get an idea of what you can make with those. I don't have this one because I don't use monster cards, but uh, I imagine it would be certainly useful for some people. So, all right, let's just jump in and let's create a, uh, an item card just to show you what it looks like. All right, you can see here I've got one card in my list. I've got an item name, uh, so I'll call this the Staff of Power. Uh, it's going to be, oh, let's go a teal colour. It's going to be a rare item that requires achievement. Uh, this is a Staff of Power. Just doing a Google on the other screen for a Magic Staff picture. That'll do. We'll double click on this image and we'll drag it over. You see it automatically resizes it. There we go, nice picture. Uh, and hitting people with the staff hats. Alright, down here there's a drop down. You can set whether it's a uh, what type of equipment it is. Alright, I'm going to go a staff. Uh, you could write some other stuff in here as well if you wanted. But look, generally that's as long as it took me to make a card. Um, you can click up here and go add card as well. Alright, you can even come in here and change the style of that card. So in this case here I could use a limited use, uh, which is obviously going to be handy. Uh, generally what I do uh, is I'll come along and um, print these off. And then if it's got like six uses, I'll... I'll just colour in with a permanent text of the other ones uh, before I give it to my player so they can only scratch off the ones that they've got left. Um, but as you can see, it is very easy to create cards. Um, and just to show you how this works, as more text goes in, it does resize. So you can see that you can start adding more and more text into it. Obviously you don't want to add too much because the smaller the font gets, the harder it is for your players to read. But you'd get the general idea. Now on top of this, there is the uh, the spell cards. Alright, so you can see there's a whole heap of spell cards here, and you can see they've got some nice sort of backgrounds. Uh, you can see they've got different support for different icons, depending on how long they, they work for. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Um, again, you've got drop downs on what type of spell it is, how many actions it takes, the spell name. Alright. So that's pretty simple. And what I'll do is I'll just open up some of the examples that you can get for free um, when you do download this product. Uh, they're very clear to make sure that they say that you're not buying these. Here's the 5th edition items. All right, you can see a lot of them don't come with pictures in some cases, but you can certainly put them in. Uh, we can go down and we can have a look at, let's say, the Druid spells. And you can see someone's already put all the effort in. And you can just go here and print these off. So obviously that's really cool. Now when I print these off, I print it on thicker cardstock than uh, normal paper. That way it obviously feels better for the players. Um, and I use a guillotine to cut them out. And generally all you need to do is uh, go to your printer and obviously print them off. Um, and you can see they come in a, uh, in a page with nine cards on it. You stick it through the guillotine and give it a quite quick slice. I find I can probably slice off about four pages at the same time. 
just by putting them on top of each other and putting them through the guillotine at the same time uh, makes it a lot quicker so uh, certainly uh, an easy thing to do so look that's that's magic the set editor really great way to make custom card handouts for your players um, just just think about the benefits you could give you know and think how happy your players are going to be when you know they lift open that treasure chest and you you're actually handing them physical cards so instead of them fighting over, over who gets what and then writing it down on their sheet you hand them the cards they fight over the heart cards and they take the cards with them um, I personally find that I don't use cards as much anymore uh, because we got sick and tired of having to micromanage having them with us all the time um, you just store them at the end of sessions and things like that but for the convention it was great um, it just made treasure management so much easier uh, but obviously I had to be prepared and I had to know what treasure I was going to hand out um, I guess another thing you could do with it though is just have a stack of cards uh, when your players are uh, eligible for treasure you can just basically uh, give it a bit of a shuffle and hand out a random random treasure card to whoever gets the treasure so that's another thing you could do with this so look that's, uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. It is a, a very simple program, um, but it's obviously a very useful program for those of us who uh, like to make handouts for our players. So Magic the Set Editor, check it out, guys. If you've got any questions or you want to see any other videos, please do comment in the uh, comments below. Uh, with that, have a good night.